Hello. In our parasha, Parashat Chukat, we read of Parah Aduma. Parah Aduma is the symbol of the mitzvah that people cannot understand. But the Maharal sheds a new light onto Parah Aduma. The Maharal points out different midrashim, different spiutim, different sources that say that there is something special about the Parah Aduma that Moshe was in charge of. And some of these special aspects have to do with it, that it has an eternal aspect to this paraduma, that the ashes of this paraduma will stay forever, that the uh, para will be named the para of Moshe Rabbeinu, and he gives other, other, other examples to this. And he under- explains that what is so special about this para that Moshe Rabbeinu was in charge of, that this was the only para aduma throughout history, that the person in charge of it understood it. That the person in charge of it could get the grasp of what is going on here with this special mitzvah of para aduma. So, Moshe Rabbeinu could really identify with the whole process of Paraduma. He understood it. He knew what was in the depth of it. He managed to internalize the ideas. It became one with him. It became part of his personality. And the Maharal tells us we should continue striving to understand and identify with mitzvot. Mitzvot are not only an issue of actions. Yes, first of all, we have to perform the mitzvot and do as Hashem told us. But secondly, and in a very important secondly, this is not just something that we can, it's not a bonus. This is something we should strive for, is to understand and identify with the mitzvot so that they become an eternal part of us, of our soul, of our beings. Just performing them, their actions, understanding them, internalizes them, becomes part, part of who we are. Moshe didn't even do anything with the paraduma. He was just the one giving the orders. But because he understood it, it was called the para of Moshe. And I would like to use this opportunity to invite us all to conversations that I think in many times people don't have full understanding about them. We have a series of shiurim about the role of women in Bet Knesset. And this is in many times full of tension. And I would like people to jo- as many people from our community to join these series of shiurim because this could be a good way of starting to understand the different sides and complexities of this topic in depth. And this can be an opening for respectful conversations later on. Um, Shabbat Shalom.